but yeah, the black people are not y'all not y'all not y'all not looking at nobody's looking at regardless of being at a predominant white white school you got to understand that we're talking about black men you still got to compensate for the culture even if a black man is in a location where it's predominant white you got to compensate for his culture it doesn't mean that he's gonna his his access to be around black women is shut off because where he tends to hang out at the clubs he tend to go at to actually go out and meet women those things still exist because a lot of I can you could I mean I think the guys can agree regardless if we in a city where or a, a suburb where it's predominantly white we're still going to gravitate to our culture. Look, we're still going to gravitate to the location. Also, so is 90, 98% white. We drove an hour and a half to Hartford. The fact that we don't have yeah. access to I'll, black women I'll, just because we How many black people on this panel been to college? Is, is asinine. How many black people on this, college, on this panel been to college? The very first day you was on campus, what was the first thing you tried to find? Where the black Art. people at? Thank you. Where the black people yeah. at? Yep. But Sweeney, well, you're, he, he you're just talking made about my point. something. <laughs> Thank you, we're Sweeney. talking about something that out of all of us, like Thank the you, world, Sweeney. when we're talking about men, only Marcus on this panel has been exposed to that world. So you giving your point of view in that situation, it doesn't make any sense. We're talking about D1 athletes that having white women fawn over them and throw themselves after them, right? Rich white men that can do so that want the black their daughters doing that? to be with. To now she's rich getting white to the part. fathers. Now she's getting rich to the reason. White fathers. I said it's not only one reason. I okay. said it's not only one. I said it's a number of reasons. I said well, it's that a first reason gumbo, was irrelevant. A gumbo of reasons. Y'all just don't agree with it, but that's fine. You don't have to agree with it because I have people like this in my life. I know athletes. I have athletes in my family. I have people that are elevated at a different level that has been exposed to a different life of of the hood or whatever all predominantly black areas or predominantly black situations you're going to go to and gravitate what you're exposed to based on your impressions of your parents your family and whatever else is going on it's a lot of different factors so when you have people that just want you to that just want you to make it they're not going to be pushing your 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 family and culture around you are not going to be pushing black culture on you they're not going to talk about oh, you need to marry a black woman to have black kids. They're not going to be talking about those different things, but they're also wanting you to flourish and grow as an adult by yourself. So if you're, if you have 50, if you're in a class of 1500 and you only got 30 black girls, but you got three to 400 to 500 white girls who have fathers that are politicians and um, coaches and high up in the community, as a young kid or a young person, you're going to gravitate to the access that's going to get you further ahead in life. And it just is what it is. Regardless of what you think you are negating, you may not necessarily as a young black boy feel like you're negating a black woman. You just feel like you're going after opportunity in the best situation for you and your family to further not only your career, but your family and attach yourself to other to wealth and whatever else. So and, the black, and also can you, you substantiate the point? Okay, let me get in that too. So you black substantiate the point where you what you made when you said that black parents aren't telling their black daughters to be with black men or black athletes because I don't know no. any articles or any data that could. No, I didn't. I didn't say black daughters. I said I said for the black athletes for the boys. I so didn't you, say black daughters. So, you, so so are you saying that a lot of these boys are single mothers with no fathers and they don't even they don't even know what a black marriage or a black family is. A lot of these boys are the first ones to even graduate and go to college. So a lot the of black, these kids the want NFL and NBA. You know, the black male athletes that you know, that was all D1, the ones that you personally know, how many um, married white women? Right off the fact, for Philadelphia um, Eagles, about five or six. Out of how many? I don't know, like, out of how many? I know a lot of people. Give I don't me know a how many. Out of how many. I have three brothers. I have a large family. I don't know about how, I don't know how, to, how many. My brothers play D one basketball. I, I know a lot of people. I don't Does know. your brothers marry white women? No. No. Like my parents have also been married for forty eight years. My parents also ingrained in them to be with a black woman, and they also have a black sister that's prevalent in their life as an example. And she has a black husband. So it's it's a lot of different factors when you talk about what you're exposed to. But you're, you're listening to all of African-American. I don't think kids have to be ingrained that they need to be with the same race. 
I think that's an innate thing. I don't know. Ne- I never known any article. So you don't think? So you don't think Indian? You don't think Indian culture is ingrained in them that they marry an Indian woman? You don't think that that other cultures, that Asians, parent, that Asian parents and Indian parents ingrained in them that they need to bring home a spouse of the same race and same religion? You no, don't believe that they make that like a? I don't think that's. A, I don't think that's the underlying issue. I don't think they have an issue to where they have to coach their kids to stay within their race. I don't think they're out of order that much. To no, where it's an eye opener, where the hey, look, you have to marry within your it's not about I'm talking it's about black, I'm talking it's not about black about people specifically in this case. Sorry. I don't see we live- where black people have to say, Boy, you gotta marry a black woman, or you should marry a black woman, or you shouldn't. I don't see this case, but they I should. think that we're they naturally should. drawn to the black woman. No, uh, they no. Fact, I think the stats show that we marry Sorry. more within our race than we do outside of our race. All right, right, I, I do want to get a uh, roof in there. It's in the eighty percent. Go ahead, Ruth. We're talking about athletes and why they marry other. It's two different. Races. Yeah, it's two different things. I right? would even say so athletes should... marry within their race more. They are, but y'all just started the conversation saying about where the trend trend. come from of the opposite. I'm so saying Don, the race, the the issue with the race or being told by a parent is not is irrelevant. I think the issues that you're trying to align is trying to escape the fact that. The beauty standards don't are are not important enough that's to talk about think. right now. That's your Did point. You I would I would I would say I would say it ain't got nothing to do with the race, culture, or nothing. I think a lot of these black athletes are marrying these women based off of the or being with these women primarily off of their image. And we and we just keep finding a way not to talk that about image? that part. Where did they learn that image from? Every a, a black child needs to be told to marry black. But the parents are not. You grow up. The black kid is the only person still, in America. You still ain't talking about that, age. I didn't. I'm. 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 I didn't, I didn't finish. Do you want to go? No. 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 I'm. I'm just saying. You said something about okay. image, and you just went away from it. Okay. No, because I didn't finish, and you interrupted me. The black child is the only child in America that is basically seeing all of these images right just like you said the black woman is 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 why is she trying to be like the white girl because ever since she's been born that's her beauty standard and when i say beauty standard everything on tv they're taught that they were ugly they're taught that they're they're, they're, they're uh the paper i said this is. earlier no nah, let's stop no no Ruth. i nah, say this i thought i started Every off with this point. Not trying to walk around being a white woman like we're not we're i'm not about to sit up here no, but, and but say I'm that saying, like the wives the wives I know, this the black the women I know, what y'all was the black women I know are not walking around whether they have a weave, some braids, or whatever. They're not trying to present as a white woman. They have natural bodies, right. but this they is what love Darwin their bodies said. and their husbands. I have a lot of married friends with black husbands. Their husbands love them the way they present themselves, the way they the way they carry themselves. I wanted a chocolate husband because I wanted a chocolate daughter. Period. Oh, point blank. My my daughter's darker than me. But this is what Darwin, my this is what looks Darwin like. Just like me. 